In this session, we will be discussing image enhancement techniques, not in detail but just an overview. Now let's start from the scratch, that is from the block diagram of image processing. In previous tutorial, we saw about what is image processing and what are the basic terms that are used. Now here, this is the generic block diagram of image processing. The first block is image acquisition, which is basically capturing the image. Now it is done uh, in two types, photovoltaic or photoconductive. Some devices or some methods used are uh, the use of Vidicon tube or photovoltaic arrays. Now the block over here is mass storage which serves as the purpose of storing the images that are the original images or the processed images or the variants of the same image. Mass storage is more essential nowadays. Digital pro computer or processing is the heart of the image processing block diagram and the image processing system. The various methods that we are going to see in subsequent tutorials are all under this block that is processing or Im the image to enhance it or to filter out the noise all that comes under this block now after the uh, image is processed it needs to be displayed so display devices like printers or monitors are used in some applications we also need to transmit the image as it can be live transmission or any kind of transmission depending on the progressiveness or the application of the proce image processing more blocks can be added now let us turn to what is actually image enhancement by image enhancement we mean that the original image is processed so as to obtain a resultant image which is more suitable than the original uh, suitable means we can make the image more legible or uh, more understandable now the enhancement technique is highly subjective and by subjective we imply that the resultant image will vary from person to person as per the person's choice now image enhancement is at an outset, uh, outset level it is a cosmetic procedure by cosmetic we mean that the whatever process or whatever modifications we do to enhance the image we do it on the same image and that is the same data contained in the image and no additional data is added to modify the image what are the types of image enhancement techniques image enhancement is broadly classified into two techniques that are that is to be specific into two domains spatial domain and frequency domain now spatial domain techniques of image enhancement are further classified into point processing and neighborhood processing by point processing we imply that whatever changes or whatever modifications we do we do it uh, at the uh, we do it with the pixels or we modify the each pixel of the image so uh, what all procedure that we will be following in point processing we will do it for all the pixels in a given image uh, whereas for neighborhood processing we deal with uh, more than m more than one pixels to be specific a group of pixels at a time uh, and in this processing techniques we generally use an entity called as a mask what is meant by spatial domain the word spatial relates to space that is uh, x and y axis as we generally consider while looking at graphs or signals that we construct using the Cartesian x and y axis the axis that we use in image processing for spatial domain representation are as I have drawn here that is this vertical axis is the x axis and the horizontal axis is the y axis 
This uh, orientation of axis is due to the procedure called as raster scanning which is used to scan any image. Now this matrix that I have drawn here is my image. It's the entire image and each cell of the matrix is a pixel. Now uh, to represent a pixel in mathematical form it is done by writing f of x comma y where f is the intensity of the pixel and x and y are the coordinates uh, each in, uh, pixel has an intensity and we call it or we may call it as a gray level depending on the type of the image we are dealing with and the gray level depends on number of gray levels in an image number of possible gray, level, gray levels in an image depends on the bits per pixel Now this table here uh, shows the two main pro processes in spatial domain point processing and neighborhood processing which we have discussed earlier and here are the types in each of these main processes. The subtypes will be discussed in the upcoming tutorials. For point processing we have seven different types of processes digital negative, contrast stretching, thresholding gray level slicing, bit plane slicing, dynamic range compression and power law transformation. Whereas in neighborhood processing we generally have filters such as low pass filtering, median filtering, high pass filtering, high boost filtering and an additional fifth type which is zooming. Under frequency domain enhancement techniques, we have low pass filters, high pass filters, high boost filters and homomorphic filters. All these filters are in frequency domain that is the processing is done in, filter, uh, in frequency domain by using the Fourier transform. Now in under neighborhood processing we again saw filters by the similar names but they are done in spatial domain with the help of masks. All these techniques of spatial and frequency domain and the sub subtypes and the sub techniques will be seen in detail in the upcoming tutorials.